an ancient object from a distant corner of the universe, is hurtling toward our Sunday. For the past month, the most powerful telescopes on Earth have all turned their gaze to the sky, focusing on a single mysterious point of light. Scientists have been searching for answers, but the more they observe, the more questions arise. And now, time is running out because soon, this object will disappear from view, hidden by the sun's blinding light. That means we must find the answer quickly. What exactly is it? Officially, this object has been named 3I divided by Atlas, short for third interstellar object ever detected by humanity. In other words, it does not belong to our solar system, but comes from a distant star somewhere within the Milky Way. We don't yet know which star it originated from, but evidence suggests that 3I divided by Atlas was born in a very ancient stellar system, possibly twice as old as our own Sunday. This is only the third time in human history that we have discovered a visitor from interstellar space. The first was Oumuamua. In 2017, a cigar-shaped rock tumbling through space that continues to puzzle scientists to this day. The second was 2I divided by Borisov, less famous but remarkable in its own way, behaving like a typical comet, yet carrying the unmistakable signature of an interstellar origin. But 3I divided by Atlas appears to be the strangest case of all. From the moment of its discovery, it has both excited and unsettled astronomers. The object was officially discovered on the 1st of July 2025 by Atlas the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. Its name, Atlas, comes from this project. At that time, it was located between the orbits of Jupiter and Mars, leaning slightly closer to Jupiter. Later, researchers found that TESS, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, which searches for planets beyond our solar system, had accidentally captured images of 3I divided by Atlas as early as May 7, 2025, when it was still between Saturn and Jupiter. This revelation gave us a clearer idea of the object's tremendous velocity. For comparison, when NASA launched the Voyager probes toward Jupiter, it took them between 18 and 23 months to reach its orbit. 3I divided by Atlas? From near Jupiter in May, it passed Mars by September and will approach the Sun closely on October 29 of this year, all in just a few short months. By next spring, it will already be back around Jupiter's orbit. Its speed is so extreme that the Sun's gravity cannot capture it. In other words, 3I divided by Atlas is moving along a hyperbolic trajectory clear proof that it is an object from beyond our solar system. The most fascinating part of the observations recorded by the TESS satellite is this. Even when 3I divided by Atlas was still outside Jupiter's orbit, it was already shining remarkably bright. And during the three weeks that TESS tracked it, that brightness kept increasing. This is highly unusual, at least, unusual compared to ordinary comets as we know them. Typically, Comets are composed of massive chunks of ice mixed with dust, gas, and organic compounds that formed in the outer reaches of the solar system. As they travel closer to the sun, their icy surfaces begin to warm up and melt. But in the vacuum of space, there are no liquids. Instead of melting into water, the ice sublimates turning directly from solid to gas. This process of sublimation creates the faint glowing halo that surrounds a comet known as the coma. Normally, comets made of water ice only begin to sublimate once they cross Jupiter's orbit, where they start to receive enough heat from the Sunday. However, when TESS first detected 3I divided by Atlas on May 7, the object was still well beyond Jupiter's orbit, yet it was already glowing intensely and becoming brighter by the day. That means the sublimation process had started much earlier than expected. If 3I divided by Atlas truly is a comet, then it is clearly unlike any comet ever seen before. In fact, it's the complete opposite of Oumuamua, the famous 2017 interstellar object that showed no signs of outgassing or a coma whatsoever. Meanwhile, 2I divided by Borisov behaved exactly like a textbook comet, perfectly matching scientific expectations. 3. I divided by Atlas, on the other hand, seems to belong to an entirely new category too bright, too early, and too different. But the story didn't stop there. 
As astronomers continued to observe 3I divided by Atlas through July and August, things grew even stranger. The bright coma surrounding the object began to form a tail which, for a comet, is perfectly normal. However, the tail of 3I divided by Atlas was pointing in the opposite direction straight toward the Sunday. This defies almost every known physical rule in the solar system. The sun is not only a source of light and heat, but also of the solar wind, powerful streams of charged particles constantly blowing outward from its surface. It is this solar wind that normally sweeps dust and gas away from comets, forcing their tails to always point away from the Sunday. You can picture it like a dog sticking its head out of a car window. The wind pushes its fur and face backward. But with three eye divided by Atlas, that wind seems to be blowing the other way, causing its tail to point toward the very source of light, a phenomenon never before seen in the history of astronomy. It's quite charming to think of the sun as a giant fan blowing a comet's tail away into space. Now imagine this, what if a dog stuck its head out of a car window, but instead of the wind pushing its face backward, it stretched forward? Sounds impossible, doesn't it? And yet, that very impossibility is exactly what's happening with 3I divided by Atlas. Its tail is pointing against the direction of the solar wind, straight toward the Sunday. This anomaly has left astronomers completely baffled. To find an answer, they decided to unleash humanity's most powerful, heavy artillery into the sky. The strongest telescopes ever built, Hubble, James Webb, and SphereX, the cone-shaped space observatory designed to study the origins of the universe, all redirected their gaze toward 3I divided by Atlas. Even TESS, the satellite that first discovered it, resumed a second round of observations. And from these efforts, NASA obtained the most crucial findings to date though. As often happens in science, the new answers only raised more questions. The biggest discovery was this. The coma surrounding 3I divided by Atlas is composed almost entirely of carbon dioxide, CO, 2, gas. This means the object is not made of water ice, unlike the comets we're familiar with. While a small amount of water is still present, the ratio of CO2 to H2O is 8 to 1, about 16 times more CO2 than what's typically found in ordinary comets. This CO2 cloud is unimaginably vast. Its radius could extend up to 300,000 kilometers, nearly half the diameter of the Sunday. It's far larger than what observers had predicted back in July. That realization also forced scientists to rethink the size of the solid nucleus at the center. Initially, astronomers estimated the core of 3I divided by Atlas to be about 20 kilometers wide. Later, data revised that figure down to 11 kilometers. But with the latest measurements, its actual diameter could reach 46 kilometers, a sizable chunk of rock, though not gigantic. Within our solar system, some comets have cores exceeding 100 kilometers across. However, what truly shocked scientists was not the size but the bizarre chemical composition. The extremely high CO2 content compared to water suggests that 3I divided by Atlas formed in a stellar system fundamentally different from our own, a place where the primordial building materials were nothing like those in our solar system. That ratio is completely off the charts by cosmic standards, giving 3I divided by Atlas a genuinely alien nature. And just as astronomers were trying to decode this mystery, another strange discovery emerged this past summer. While observing 3I divided by Atlas using the Very Large Telescope, VLT, in Chile, which, as its name suggests, is an absolute observational monster, scientists detected nickel in its coma. That seemed normal until they realized there was no trace of iron. If that sounds confusing, you're not alone, that's exactly how astronomers felt. Because in nature, iron and nickel always go hand in hand. They are the two most common heavy metals in the universe, almost always found together in planets, meteorites, and stellar cores. Yet here, 3I divided by Atlas contained nickel without any iron at all, a phenomenon never before observed. And that discovery has only deepened the mystery surrounding this interstellar visitor, making 3I divided by Atlas more enigmatic than ever. Iron and nickel, these two elements, share a special relationship, 
forged together in the fiery cores of dying stars and then scattered across the universe by the immense power of supernova explosions. Magnificent, isn't it? And that's precisely why, anywhere in the cosmos, in meteorites, on the moon, or in the cores of planets, whenever we find nickel, we always find iron alongside it. The two elements are almost never separated in nature, unless someone deliberately separated them like humans do in industrial metallurgy. So, the question is, how could nickel appear in 3i divided by atlas without any iron? The current answer is simple. We don't know. And yes, that's extremely strange. Of course, whenever scientists encounter something they can't explain, the wider public tends to leap to humanity's favorite hypothesis. Could it be aliens? It sounds wild, but these ideas aren't entirely baseless. They're not pulled out of thin air, just bold interpretations of real data. For example, we know that 3i divided by Atlas brightened dramatically as it passed near Jupiter. True, it was moving closer to the sun, but the intensity of its brightness went far beyond what normal sublimation could explain. Some suggest this might be the effect of an enormous early release of CO2 gas, or as others half-jokingly propose, perhaps a spacecraft turning its lights on. Another theory claims that the CO2 cloud surrounding 3I divided by Atlas could actually be biological exhaust, that this is a massive starship filled with living organisms breathing and exhaling CO2, much like we do. Some even speculate that 3I divided by Atlas itself might be a living entity, drifting through space, absorbing cosmic dust and gas for sustenance, and exhaling CO2 as a biological byproduct. And intriguingly so far, no one has been able to prove that this is impossible. It sounds fantastical, but there's no solid evidence completely ruling it out. Unlikely? Certainly. Impossible? Not yet. Likewise, the discovery of nickel without iron remains unexplained. That means we can't say with absolute certainty that 3i divided by Atlas isn't an artificial object. The odds are small, but not zero. That's why scientists are now racing against time. We have only a brief window left to observe. 3i divided by Atlas before it disappears from view. In early October, the object will pass near Mars, at a distance of about 28 million kilometers still far, but close enough for two European orbiters to observe it. The European Space Agency, ESA, will use Mars Express and ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, both equipped with high-resolution cameras and advanced color imaging systems, to capture the most detailed data possible. While we won't get a perfect close-up, the information gathered could help distinguish the gaseous coma from the solid nucleus, giving us our first real glimpse of 3i divided by Atlas's true shape. Then, by late October, as seen from Earth, 3i divided by Atlas will slip behind the Sun, vanishing from sight until December, when it reappears on its outbound journey from the solar system. However, there's still one final chance. On the 16th of March 2026, 3i divided by Atlas will pass near Jupiter, at a distance of 53 million kilometers. That's not particularly close, but it presents a unique opportunity because orbiting Jupiter is NASA's Juno spacecraft. Juno has been studying Jupiter since 2016, and originally, NASA planned to end its mission in September 2025 by sending it plunging into Jupiter's atmosphere, but with the unexpected arrival of three, I divided by Atlas, NASA might reconsider turning Juno's final flight into a special mission, a once-in-a-lifetime encounter with an interstellar visitor before it vanishes forever. So, although 3i divided by Atlas has puzzled us for months, humanity's quest to understand it is far from over. We will gather new data, perhaps solve a few mysteries, and almost certainly uncover even more questions than before. And maybe that's the most beautiful part of all this, that endless pursuit of the unknown. Because in the end, it's not just about finding answers, it's about the wonder of discovery itself.